Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft RTX Shaders, Textures and Resource Pack video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a realistic Minecraft Bedrock, aka Minecraft for Windows 10, Shader Texture Pack. Now this one is called Real Source RTX Pack. Previously I did a showcase video for version 6 of the Shader Pack. And today I'm going to show you guys the latest release which is version 7 that just came out recently. Basically, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay for this, and then I'm going to show you how you can download and install this shader texture pack for your Minecraft for Windows 10 game. Okay, so as you guys can see, everything is looking really nice and realistic, and the author of this pack actually went for the realistic approach. And as you guys can see, everything looks so nice. We are standing here, and this world was also created by the author, so I am using it to showcase this, this pack today. As you can see, the swimming pool looks so nice. All the effects are so realistic as well. I really do like the water effects. And not to mention the tiles and the reflections on them. We are actually in the night time at the moment. So I will show you what the daytime looks like as well. Let's look at that. It looks so cool. You can see the reflections there on the tiles as well. I think this is one of the best realistic RTX shader packs I've seen in a long time. If we just go up here. You can see the crafting table as well. There's so much detail. And I have to admit, the version 7 is running so smooth, as you guys can see, not getting any stuttering or slowness with this. Alright, let's switch it to the daytime now. As you guys can see, we do have some nice shadows as well in this. Then we've got the uh, reflections here. And if you can see the reflection down on those stones there of the building, it looks so nice and realistic as well. Let's take a look at the newly launched copper block as well. Again, that looks really amazing as you can see. This world was actually created by the author of this pack and I will show you how you can actually download this and use it as well. So you can actually see each of the individual blocks and what they look like with this pack turned on. Let's take a look at these ores as well. Let's make it night time again. As you can see we've got the cool looking glowing ores as well and uh, we can see some reflections there as well and the glass type blocks as you can see over there it looks so nice let's look at that And in terms of performance, I think this performs really nicely on my system. I am using a RTX 2070 Super, but I do think a RTX 2060 as well should be able to handle this with no problems. Alright, let's check out another world. Alright, let's go to Gendry's Tavern. Now this is a medieval type world, so let's see how it actually performs within a medieval type setting as well. As you guys can see, everything looks so much nicer here. You can see the stone blocks on the ground there, reflecting. And then we've got the cool looking crafting table.
Let's check out this barn. Just look at that stained glass window as well. It looks so nice. Look at that. At this point, it doesn't even look like Minecraft. It looks like another game completely. So much detail has been put into this, as you guys can see. So look at that. Another thing I really like about this pack is the wood. It looks so cool, especially all the different types of wood. You can see the reflective surfaces as well. Look at those flames as well and the reflection there on the stone. And then you've got the stone there on the wall and the lights reflecting off it. And then the stained glass at the top there. So I think in terms of a medieval type setting, this could work as well. And we've got the rooms here. So yeah, as you guys can see, the wood is so nice. It's got the reflections there from the sun. And the sun is rounded as well. I do like the sky as well, the colours that they've used. And as you can see in the distance there, we do have fog as well coming in there. If you guys have a RTX compatible graphics card and a Windows 10 account for Minecraft, then I would highly recommend that you give this pack a go. It's a really cool shade of texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock. You will need a RTX compatible graphics card, as I said, and a full version of Minecraft for Windows 10. Look at the water. You can see the reflections in there as well. And now I'm going to show you guys how to download this for free and install it into your Minecraft Windows 10 game. And I'll quickly show you in my settings, I'll go to global resources, what I've got active here. So you can see I've got 10 things active and I've got the real source RTX pack, the beta version 7.0, which launched recently. And then I've got all the other add-ons as well, stuff like God Rays, 3D Furniture, Windy Grass, Modern Living, Glowing Ores, glowing stones, connected glass, and then mirror block. So I'm going to show you guys how to download all of this for free and then install it. It's really simple. All right, so to begin with, if you guys open up your internet browser and just type in real source RTX, and it's going to be the first link normally, it's the realsourcepack.com website. And this is the author's main website. So you can go ahead and download all the stuff here for free. You can obviously sign up to an account and get better looking blocks as well. So if we click on the RTX pack for PC, they also have a pocket edition pack for mobile, which will be coming out shortly. So as you guys can see, the pack that we were using was this one, which is the basic pack with 128 pixels pack with details up to 256 pixels. But you can go for the HD and Ultra HD packs as well. But you do have to uh, pay for the accounts there. So you guys can see they've got different accounts that you guys can get. And it's not bad. So 
we're going to click on this one which says download free it's the basic version so let's download that I'll wait for that to finish downloading and then at the same time if we go ahead and click on the add-ons to rtx pack and just go ahead and click on each of these and click on the download for each of these links and download them onto your desktop and then for the maps i was showing you the youtube world map so you can go ahead and download that just to see what the pack will perform like on your system so i'm going to wait for all of these things to finish downloading and i'll put them on my desktop and i'll show you how to install them all right so i've placed them on a folder on the desktop and if i open this up you guys can see i've got the downloads here so you will see the main pack is actually a mc pack file and then the add-ons are a mc add-on file and then the world is a mc world file so to install these for minecraft for windows 10 it's really simple all you have to do is just double click on them and then they should automatically import the files into the game so I'm going to click on this one, which is the real source RTX pack beta version 7.0.mc pack file. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this file and then I'm going to wait for the message to appear, which will say import started. And then I should get a message that says it has successfully imported the file. All right, so let's go ahead and double click on this. As you guys can see, it's loaded the game now. And it should start saying that the import has started. As you can see on the top there. And I have got a message now that says it's successfully imported real source RTX pack. So we can go ahead in the, in the settings, go to global resources, click on my packs, and then we can activate the real source pack. And as you guys can see, I've already got the add ons activated on here. So you should have a total of 10 files, including the real source file. So just look for them in my pack section and then activate them and then they should end up in your active section. Now, if you want to get rid of any of these files completely off the system, you can do that by clicking on the storage button here, then clicking on resource packs and then clicking on one of these and then click on the bin icon and it should get rid of this completely from your Minecraft game. All right, so let's go back. Let's create a new world. I'm going to create a default world a survival normal world with the packs enabled so let's click on create there we go so we're now in the world and as you can see we've got the real source rtx enabled we've got all the cool looking realistic grass and effects going on here And we can now enjoy our survival world with this pack. Look at that reflection there, it looks so nice. Let's chop down a tree, have a look at the graphics of that as well. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about using this RTX pack, then do leave them in the comment section below. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.